Despite the huge horns, whose span can exceed the height of an adult, longhorns are calm and phlegmatic animals. But when a representative of another breed decides to attack him, this longhorn bull gave a crushing rebuff. And it looks pretty epic, doesn't it? And we will show you other cases in which bulls demonstrate their strength. A huge herd of buffaloes noticed a young lion's resting on the grass. The ungulates have no numerical advantage here, so they couldn't really just let the predators lie around and doze. The bulls went on the attack in a huge wave. They stand shoulder to shoulder and point their horns at predators. There are several lions, and only this saved them from a terrible massacre. The bulls do not want to take risks, so they are not going to arrange a massacre. But the lions don't know that. The confrontation looks incredibly epic. The predators had to take a defensive position and stay close. They growl and try to scare away the bulls, but the lions do not know that they are just being bullied. The bulls are pushing back the lions. And if the predators flinch and show their backs, they will simply be trampled. Therefore, they retreat gradually, one at a time. First, the youngest individuals, like this male with a small mane. The problem is that he didn't find the best place to sit out. The huge stone may be big, but it is sloping enough. While the other bulls were distracting the young lion's attention to themselves, while one of them calmly walks in from behind and stops right above the lion. It feels like the buffalo decided to prank the predator. It seems that the bull knows that he is being filmed. And he wants to get a good shot, so he poses while the lion is almost hysterical under his horned head. Come up with a funny remark to the bull and let us know in the comments. As a result, the lion still can't stand it and jumps off the stone. The bull, excited with excitement, meets him at the bottom. A powerful blow with the horns and a lion weighing as much as a small motorcycle flies up. He's alive, but a couple of ribs were definitely broken after that ram. This buffalo, unlike the previous one, is serious. The sharp tip of the horn flashed a few inches from the lion's throat. Fortunately, the young lion dodges the next attack and runs away just between the other ungulates. It is unlikely that he will hunt bulls soon. The predator will remember this lesson for a long time. The lion tried to make a frontal attack on the buffalo, but this was a mistake. The ungulate met the predator with horns. The lion barely jumped back and tried to sidestep the herbivore, but the bull reacted with lightning speed and met the opponent again. It looks like a game, but the reaction speed allowed the bull to save his life. This bull was calmly bathing in the cool water when a huge lion attacked him from behind and bit the base of his spine. The reaction of the ungulate unpleasantly surprised the predator. Instead of fleeing, the buffalo turned around and decided to repay the same to the lion. The powerful beast lifted the predator on its horns right under its hind paw. With a sharp movement of its head, the bull threw the lion out of the water. One can only empathize with the Leo, because if you take into account the place where the horn hits, then for a while the lion will growl in a much higher voice. A tiger is a predatory beast that relies on a quick, sudden strike. He cannot chase prey for a long time and must catch it almost immediately. But when it comes to a twice as massive buffalo, there won't be any problems, right? After all, the bull should be less agile. But the tiger's calculation did not come true. As soon as the ungulate saw the predator, it showed much speed that the tiger was simply shocked. The bull went straight through the thicket and did not slow down at all. Surprisingly, this horned jock turned out to be also quite the sprinter. The bull fell two steps behind, then three, and just ran out of steam. The buffalo broke away from the chase and disappeared into the thicket. And that's probably why the tiger paid special attention to sneaking up here. Just look how long and carefully the cat approaches the prey. In front of her is a huge powerful gar, a muscular Asian buffalo whose weight is approaching a ton. In order not to miss such prey, the striped cat shows wonders of endurance. But the tiger clearly didn't know who he was dealing with. At the last moment, the gaur turns his muzzle to the tiger and shows that he was waiting for the enemy. Wait, is this a trap? It seems that the bull is so confident in his abilities that he does not run away, but on the contrary, invites the tiger to fight. And the striped predator is retreating. 
No need to accuse him of cowardice. When such a hoofed monster is preparing to ram, retreating is a reasonable decision. And this scene even looks kind of funny. Here, the tiger carefully sneaks up on its prey. And now it turns 180 degrees to quickly get out of trouble. And all because he was noticed by an adult and powerful gaur. So what would you do if you noticed a tiger sneaking up on you? Well, this gaur will just go on a frontal attack. And he manages to put the world's largest panther to flight. And this gaur is so confident in his abilities that he does not even wait for the predator to attack. The ungulate is the first to go into battle and pursue the enemy, and the tiger is shocked by such impudence. Of course, the gaur is twice as big, but still no, needs to show some respect for carnivores. But no, the bull doesn't really care. He runs along the shore of the lake and doesn't even let the tiger just drink some water. The cat will have to retreat. The predator does not want to fight without the effect of surprise against such a scumbag with sharp horns and powerful hooves. It was not worth underestimating his speed, however, as well as his strength. The zebu lives in Asia. This cow differs quite a lot from the European cows that we're used to, and it's difficult to confuse the zebu with the European bar. Zebu have a real pronounced hump on their back, which is most likely used in the same way as camels, to accumulate useful and nutritious substances in the fat layer. Indeed, the zebu can go without water and food for quite a long time. Smaller than camels, but larger than European cows. In addition, the zebu has a slightly different body silhouette, less muscular legs, and there are also many folds of skin underneath the chin on the neck. Looking noble to a zebu, but if you think that they avoid fights and run away at the slightest threat, then you are wrong. Really wrong. However, this was a mistake for zebu to mess with this buffalo. He clearly overestimated his strength. Zebu may not be able to last longer in the desert than buffaloes accustomed to the tropics, but this does not give any advantages in a fight. And the more aggressive and muscular buffalo pushes the zebra without any problems. It's a good thing that I don't knock him down, because otherwise the zebra would have been trampled on. But you can clearly compare how these horned breeds differ. But it is better for less massive animals not to mess with them. The ram's battering ram did not make the zebra retreat an inch at all. The bull took the blow on its horns, turned its head sharply, and spun the ram in the air around its axis. The brazen beast collapsed at the bull's feet. He will not forget this lesson. There are many breeds of bulls that come from different wild subspecies of this hoofed animal. Externally, the subspecies can differ significantly from each other, as Asian massive and muscular gaurus differ from ordinary European cows or Indian humpback zebus. The difference can be clearly seen here. The wild buffalo decided that the domestic bull was not his equal. However, there were cows nearby, and the bull could not give up in front of them, so he gave the wild buffalo an impressive rebuff. When the two massive and powerful beasts clashed, the ground seemed to shake from their blow. I wonder who the cows are rooting for. Their kinsmen, or an exotic and unusual wild stranger? Just look at how they closely monitor the situation and approach the opponents almost closely. The cows are not afraid of them at all, because they know that this is a showdown for leadership in the group. And don't let the rivalry of different subspecies bother you. Wild and domesticated ungulates often arrange mixed temporary families. By the way, this threatens the population of wild purebred subspecies. And who are you rooting for? In any case, the buffalo realized that it was not worth underestimating domesticated distance relatives at all. Pay attention to how the bull pushes back the buffalo, how they rest their feet, concentrated their maximum efforts for the sake of crushing pressure. However, they do not try to touch the blood vessels on the neck of the enemy with their sharp tips of their horns. They do not try to gouge out their eyes. In general, they behave, albeit harshly, but nobly. Don't you agree? Bulls live in the mountains, which are perfectly adapted to life at high altitude. This is the yak. They are easily recognized by their long hanging hair, which perfectly withstand the blows of the harsh mountain cold wind. Even a large and adult bull should probably not mess with a yak. 
This young fighter decided to show the yak who came up to meet who was in charge here. A big mistake. Mountains harden their inhabitants. The yak's size advantage is small, but it has incredible fury, longer horns, and pressure. His opponent weighed more than half a ton, but the yak not only crushed his defenses and suppressed resistance, but also knocked him down and then threw him away. The stunned bull flew down the slope, but fortunately was able to get to his feet once again. He will remember this lesson for quite a long time. He was just lucky that I didn't finish him off. Messing with mountain yaks is a bad idea even for seasoned bulls. Rhinoceroses live in Asia, which differ from their African distant relatives in appearance. The Asian branch does not have such a long and pronounced horn, but it has a more prominent skin, the hardened plates of which provide excellent protection. And together with a huge mass, this makes Asian rhinos living tanks, which are difficult for any other animals in this habitat to cope with. That's just like the Gauras are lovers of difficult tasks. They do not like arrogant rhinos who easily and without doubt rush to attack anyone who makes at least one sharp nod of their head in their field of vision. The Gaur decided to show the rhino that he didn't know who he was messing with. The beginning of the confrontation between the two beasts looks pretty epic. They, like the knights before a fight, stood opposite each other. The beasts boast of strength and size, and we can appreciate how massive and muscular these rivals are. But don't be fooled. Although it seems that the Gaur is approximately equal to the rhinoceros in size and height at the withers, it significantly loses to the enemy in mass. The Gaur is about three times lighter. That's just not stopping the ungulate at all. The rivals are circling as if dancing. When one steps in, the other takes a step back. But pay attention, the Gaur's attacks are always going to be more brazen. He stops later as if to show that he does not want bloodshed, but will definitely go to the end if provoked. The rhinoceros is proud and does not immediately retreat. But the tenacity and maneuverability of the enemy gradually makes the rhino doubt his victory. As a result, he boastfully throws his head up to show fearlessness and runs away. The Gaur drove him out of his territory where his family will now be able to graze in peace. The bull was lucky. If the rhino hadn't flinched, the fight might not have gone according to this scenario at all. Yeah, you understood everything correctly. The Gaur was bluffing, and thanks to this, he defeated the rhinoceros. This duel between two bulls seemed like ordinary fun, but in fact, the situation is much more dangerous than it seems. The two beasts grappled, and one of them tried to cover the advisor's muzzle with his own head. Thus, a more aggressive bull drowns his opponent because he keeps his nose underwater, keeping himself able to breathe. The bull whose head was left at the bottom is shocked. He did not expect that an ordinary competition would turn into a life-threatening adventure when he was literally drowned right in front of the herd. Fortunately, he managed to free himself from the grip, but now he will not underestimate the aggression of his relatives. When a family of Indian elephants came out of the jungle into the clearing, they noticed that this place was already occupied. A bull gore was grazing there. Elephants are the largest and the most massive land animals in the world. Although the Indian elephant is much smaller than the African elephant, it is still heavier than the Gara as much as the polar bear is heavier and more massive than the Spaniel. That's just the character of the Gar. It's like not at all that of a dog with funny hanging ears. The Gar is not going to let the elephants in. He confronts them and shows with all his appearance that he is ready for a fight. Of course, the elephants are young, but they are much easier to intimidate than a mature giant. But they give in because they don't know who they're messing with. Pay attention to the funny detail here. The elephants noticed that people were filming them on video and ran towards the car. It was as if they were ashamed that some bull had driven an entire group of elephants out of the pasture. If elephants could talk, then this beast running at them would shout, Hey, delete that video! Delete the video! Otherwise, it'll be just like in the movie Gentlemen. Delete the video, don't embarrass us. But it's too late. We've seen this now. And now we know that sometimes bulls can be, if not in battle, then cooler in character than elephants. By the way, the car that the cameraman was in left, and the elephants let them go and did not cause them any harm. They may even have chased the car to ask them for protection. Who knows? Really? 
Surprisingly, this is not the only such case. Here, a huge gar was able to push back and expel a more adult and large elephant from the clearing. In fact, the bull was lucky that he did not touch the opponent and only pressed him with authority. If the bull had hit the elephant with its horns, then the larger beast would probably have gone berserk and would have kicked the ungulate, trampled it into the mud. And so the elephant retreats. The peace-loving animal is trying to find a compromise and loses a convenient place to graze. Is this a shame? Maybe, but the bull also knows how to stop in time and attack when the opportunity arises. Thanks to this, well, thanks to self-confidence, he wins the confrontation. One of the most popular breeds in America is the Longhorn. The main distinguishing feature of these ungulates is the huge, powerful, and incredibly long horns that radiate from the animal's skull in different directions. Most of the horn goes exactly to the side of the head, but the tip bends at a steep angle and bends forward. The base of such horns is proportionally powerful, so the blow of the longhorn is like a battering ram. The horns are strong and gradually narrow. These bulls are very massive and have powerful muscles, so even when a small run, they can deliver a terrible blow to the enemy. At the same time, the target of the attack seems to be trapped by the tips of the horn. If the longhorn hits the target from the side, so much the better because the sharp tips of the weapon can easily rip open the skin of even a mother cougar. Even members of their own herd should not joke with this longhorn. The male jerked his head into the tip of his horn, kicked the opponent into the hind leg. Due to the swing, the blow was quite powerful. And this bull did not aim to cripple his enemy, only to just teach him a lesson. Actually, these bulls were bred for this purpose. Farmers wanted a breed of cattle that could be released for free, grazing on the prairies and pampas. Longhorns don't need guards. They can protect themselves. The most unusual thing about this breed is its amazing loyalty to humans. Do you expect that it is extremely difficult to cope with the longhorn? And this bull will rush its at its own owner, destroy fences on the farm, and attack other cattle? Not at all. On the contrary, longhorns are gentle and even caring towards people. At the same time, the back line of this impressive hoofed giant is quite smooth. Therefore, in the southern states of America, the use of longhorns instead of horses is now becoming more and more popular. The opportunity to ride a longhorn unites him with another beast, the bison. This, of course, is much more dangerous, so such a hobby is exclusively the lot of professionals. And something like this should not be repeated in any case at home. Wild bison should never be approached. But some modern cowboys ride both types of bulls. The bison was probably originally born on a farm, and probably this would explain its docile nature that you're seeing right now. Admit it, it would be better if the colonizers did not hunt these bulls, but just saddled them. An amazing picture. A man riding a huge bull, but not at a rodeo, but on a quiet walk. It seems that both bison and longhorn like to spend their time like this. Like other bulls, these ungulates are not prone to panic, unlike many other herbivores. Even a mature stallion can panic if he is surrounded by wolves on all sides. And the longhorn is calmer, he would rather fight back and defend his rider than carry and abandon his man. Would you like to ride on the back of such a beast? Would you feel safe? Share your opinion in the comments. And if you have already saddled such animals and ridden them, then we are waiting for more interesting stories from you. The lioness did not expect such a terrible blow. The bull did not just swoop in and sweep away the opponent. He lifted the cat on its horns, hooked it with a sharp tip, and began to shake it like a rag. And the rest of the lionesses are shocked by such a rodeo. Just pay attention to exactly where the tip of the bull's horn hit. In the inguinal ford, which connects the lioness's hind leg and her torso. The predator was not able to free itself from such a trap on its own. She can only count on the mercy of the bull. And this ungulate is not used to showing such bright qualities towards enemies. The bull takes advantage of the opportunity to inflict maximum damage to the predator by 100% and mercilessly shakes the body of the lionesses. Pay attention to the ease with which the buffalo picks her up and throws her to the ground, then picks her up again and repeats the blow. 
Although the herbivore does not have a large, almost five-fold advantage in mass, the fact that the bull makes almost no effort and can be the lionesses for so long is amazing and frightening. You can also sympathize with the cat here. Her sisters want to come to her aid, but they can't. The bull is able to hit the attacking lioness with her own sister. Therefore, predatory cats can only wait for the berserker's rage to evaporate. And the bull will get a little bit tired and then just release the lioness. It seems that although the horn clung securely to the huntress's body, there were no deep puncture wounds at all. Of course, she is guaranteed a concussion and several broken ribs, but the lioness has a chance to survive here. It is hoped that she will learn a lesson from this case, and even when she fully recovers thanks to the care of her relatives, she will no longer attack bulls, at least on such strong and ruthless ones. Usually, bulls either do not pay attention to the cars of nature researchers, or they are afraid of transport. But this huge mass of ungulates behaves unusually. It starts playing with the car. People are lucky that the bull is not aggressive and does not try to attack either the vehicle or the people in its cabin. One can only assume that will happen if a mountain if muscles weighing more than half a ton crashes into the car. But instead of conflict, we see a game. Just look at how this cute little guy jumps on the spot and flaunts in front of the camera. He seems to know that he is being filmed and wants to become a YouTube star. Admit it, such behavior requires courage because cars for wild animals are something strange. They're noisy and frightening. But the bull doesn't really care about the engine noise. He wants to have fun and dance. Nature researchers did not expect exactly this, and to be honest, we are too, but nature is amazing. What was the most impressive episode from today's video involving bulls that struck you the most? We'll be waiting your comments in the comment section below this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe. We'll see each other more often.